fucking faggot. What? What? What'd you do? What'd I do? Yeah, what'd you do? I slunk out. You slunk out? Slunk. I slunk out. So you didn't do shit, and you punked out. That's what the fuck happened, right? Yeah, I punked out. I punked out. How'd that happen? What was I gonna do? The guy, the guy could've killed me. And that's how a man call you a fucking faggot. You getting that ass, Larry. You know what I mean? You getting that ass, Larry. That's what the fuck you do. What are you talking about? You let that man slide today. You gotta immediately get in somebody's ass when that happens to you. You pull their asshole open, step into their asshole, close the door behind you, take a spray paint can, right? Uh huh. Larry was here. <coughs> you spray paint, Larry was here, wash me, all that kind of shit. Fuck this whole asshole up. These snicker bars, throw some paper on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite hey, uh, moments of all prostate, time. Gesture prostate, right? Yeah, gesture prostate. <laughs> uh, that was from Curb Your Enthusiasm. That's uh, get up in that ass, Larry. If you if you just type get in that ass, Larry into YouTube, you'll find that clip. It's incredible. One of the best moments of any TV show of all time. Yeah, take a Snickers bar, eat Snickers bar, crumble up, throw a wrapper on the ground. <laughs> It's the best. You gotta get up in that asshole. ass. Because uh, Larry was called a faggot by a skinhead. <laughs> yes, Larry was called Amazing. a faggot by a skinhead. Uh, anyone, uh, everyone needs to go and just rewatch all of Curve Your Enthusiasm if you haven't seen it already. You know, watch it because it's a fucking classic. It's a great fucking show, man. Legendary, timeless, and epic. <laughs> I got a fucking cannon now. Ba boo! Ooh. Dang. Oh, no boulders at me shit. The oh, the kappa. Up. Fuck. He's it's going to run away. Shit. Uh-oh. I got to fight this guy, so it's going to run away. Is, are you supposed to catch him? Yeah, you got to catch him, and then you get a oh. bunch of money. Oh, fuck. Well, I died anyway, so it's fine. So now I can get the kappa. They're a bitch, because they run... They're like the crystal lizards in Dark Souls. Mm. Except it takes like a billion hits to fucking kill them, and they're horrifying. And they're horrifying. There's that boy, there. so just go around him. Get the fucking coppa. Fuck. Oh, he didn't like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then he runs. And he says, bye. He books it. And then you're trying to fucking sl kill him all this other shit's going on. Uh -oh. Get the taunt for uh -oh. that. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, no. Fuck. This coppa is, like, really fucked up looking, too. Yeah, he's pretty scary. He's pretty scary. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm creeped out. I'm he's not a uh, friendly boy. No. He's no uh, Casper the Friendly Kappa. And he just fucking runs away. Like a little bitch. Jump down, doing, dude. dude. He's just jumping. <laughs> ah, get him. Get him. Oh, get him. Uh, See, he's like bleeding souls and shit off his back. Ah, uh, yeah. He like collects the, uh, the yeah, Amrita souls. He's not as shiny as he once was. Yeah, beat the souls out uh -oh. of him. Fuck, I got tired. Of course, he's going right over by the uh, Oni. Yeah. Big what scary a little demon. Baby man. bitch. Damn it. Oh, I'm gonna do a really shitty job here. He's so spooky. <laughs> get the kappa. Get the kappa. He really does have an absolute shit ton of health, doesn't him. he? Yeah. This is meant to be a very tedious. <laughs> so that you get a big reward. A big reward. Oh, right. We were I supposed to start... fucking fireball after me. God damn it. We were supposed to start this episode with a disclaimer. Oh, what about rape? Yeah. <laughs> the Vic and Hope do not condone rape. <laughs> we just think that people need to stop pussying out of discussing it in media and, and, and treating it like it's like it's not there, you know? <laughs> Correct. This was not... And uh... like that, that it's not a valid uh, thing to use in media to make commentary on like life and struggle and pain, you know? We're not, not, we're not a, condoning yeah, rape. Not condoning rape. <laughs> not saying it's something that should be taken as no big deal, obviously. Uh, it's just that, you know, you you can't, like, just pussyfoot around it, you know? Correct. It is a thing that actually exists. You just be like, well, I'm not going to talk about that aspect, you know, when YMS puts out his video on Old Boy. But he, he kind of glosses over the part where the main guy... Uh, as soon as he is brought up to the apartment with the, the girl he meets, he immediately tries to rape her while she's on the toilet. Just glossed over that part. This is a great movie, guys, but I'm, not, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna gloss over the part that's gonna make you really uncomfortable, because if, it, if I talk about it, you're not gonna watch it, you know? Correct. Because you, uh, you know that shit wasn't in the, uh, American yeah, old boy. Definitely not in the American old boy. 
Let's just forget. You know, Koreans are weird. Let's just not talk about that. Right. That really we don't uncomfortable talk about scene. Korea. Oh, I guess all I, the mission was to kill the cap. Oh, <laughs> well, that well, was easy. There enough. you go. Go forward. Go straight. I thought I was just going ham on the Kappa, and that turned out to be the, the goal here. Yeah. I guess we get to go to uh, the third mission. There you go. Uh, All right, Victor, since we got that out of the way. Yeah. Well, do you have any topics? Anything you want to talk about? I think I'll talk about the Pokemon movie. Yes. <laughs> that's, what you're, that's what you're alluding to. Well, also, you know, I didn't know if you had any other things. On I don't the, know. The I can't docket. remember. I thought I did, and now I don't know. Oh, I gotta go here again. Ooh, I can get a new Guardian Spirit by beating this uh, this level. Cool. Okay, how do I start this? So, for those of you who don't know, the most recent Pokemon movie, I Choose You, is uh, on Netflix in America now. Yeah, they've dubbed it. It's on Netflix. This it's it's exactly as horrible as you would expect it to be. Well, like I've seen the trailers just, for this and, and talk for a while. about the premise. What's the conceit of uh, I don't I know you. what the conceit is. Like it's it's a reboot or something? Like I I don't understand. Like the idea of the movie like in the in the beginning before the opening like title sequence or whatever. Like it's retelling the story of how Ash got Pikachu and started his journey except ruining it. Just ruining anything appealing about it. It's like the whole goal of the movie is I just, I don't know. I don't know who it's for. It's a nightmare. Because, like, it starts off, like, we all we all know the first fucking episodes of Pokemon, you know? Yes. Like, Ash gets Pikachu, and it's it's a funny meme. And it's just like, I feel like I need to just really break this movie down, because it's just, a, it's an atrocity. <laughs> it's just the worst thing ever. Like, Ash is just made into this fucking doe-eyed faggot boy who all he cares about is friendship. And he's, it's like they modernize his character into, like, what the modern Ash is, which is boring and dumb. And boring like, and dumb. the point of Ash is that he's a fuck-up, you know? Yeah. That's, like, his whole character. He's just right. some, he's a he's dumb fuck-up kid. Like, he, he wants to be the greatest Pokemon master, but he doesn't want to put in the work to actually do that, you know? He doesn't want to have to think about anything. He just kind of, like, just, just gets by on his good faith in, like, being a nice guy. But, like, he doesn't actually put in the effort to being a good Pokemon trainer. And that's the that's the whole point of the show. That's the folly of Ash. That's why he loses the Pokemon League at the end of the show, you know? It's the whole point. It's his whole arc. And this one just kind of, like, makes him a good boy and, like, a good Pokemon trainer and shit. And he's, like, the chosen one and all this fucking fuck all. Like, yeah, Ash becomes, like, the chosen one in Pokemon the movie 2000. But, like, it's not canon or anything, you know? <laughs> Right. The movies have never been canon to Pokemon story. And it's just like this this po this movie takes like a weird revisionist history to Pokemon where it's like you know it it omits Misty and Brock from the story. Right. Like Misty and her bike are are, are not mentioned in, in the first episode stuff and like they kind of gloss over it. And like they take this really like romanticized approach to like Ash and Pikachu's first like fighting the Spearows right. and all that. And it's, like, this gay, tacky, like, over overdone bonding. It's very... Especially the Spiros. It's super Yeah, it's, like, dramatic. super overly dramatic. Everything is, like, a big fucking to-do. Yeah. And it feels like this exaggerated version of, like, this is this is how you remember it in your mind, you know? Like, if, if you hadn't seen Pokemon forever, uh -oh. like, fuck. This is how your nostalgia blindness would see the original events. Yeah. Like, that's how it comes off at first, where it's, like... This is the overblown, like, the, the version of this that takes itself way too seriously because that's what nostalgia is. You know, you 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 blow things out of proportions from your the fondness of your memories. But then it's like, ah, oh God, where, where was I going with that? It just sucks all the fucking charm out of it, man. It's just so it's fucking really, stupid. Yeah, it's, it's so very... annoying. It's just so dramatic. It's so over the top in selling yeah. you their relationship and, like, the events. And, like, it's really weird because after, like, the canonical, like, Spiro attack and all that shit, yeah. you get a montage of, like, Ash and Pikachu well, yeah, hanging out together and being bros. This is, yeah, after after the opening but, like, credits, like, it, it, it turns into a montage of, like, the events that were supposed to have happened in the show 
ending yes. with Ash getting the third gym badge, which is no, fighting. No, you're, you're skipping over yeah. the way they beat the well, I was shit get, out I was, of Caterpie. I was coming back to it. Because, like, yeah, they, they've omitted Misty and Brock from the story. So, like, they're going back over certain events, but, like, those characters aren't there, so they don't make any sense. And, like, it has Ash getting Caterpie, which at first you're like, why? Why would they show that? And then it's like, the original, like, the origin story of Ash getting Caterpie is, like, it's fun because Misty is grossed out by Caterpie and Ash isn't that way because he loves all Pokemon and he thinks Caterpie is cool. And, like, that sets up this immediate bond between Ash and Caterpie that, like, he understands this Pokemon better than anyone else, you know? Like, he has a he has a bond with this that Misty does not share. And, like, and Ash and Caterpie's relationship is, is kind of deep, you know? Leading up to him letting Caterpie go, which happens in the movie. Like, right. they find Girl hilarious. Butterfree or whatever, but it's super gay because it's, like... Who the fuck cares? Like, they have Meta uh, you know, Caterpie evolve in the Metapod in a super stupid, lame way, where it's like, you know, the original, the, he evolves in the Metapod, and they have the, the battle with the pincer, and it's really funny and cool, and, like, that whole arc is is, is nice. It just ruins everything, man. It's just so yeah, stupid. Yeah, but, like, the way they catch Caterpie is hilarious. Yeah, it's they because they find Caterpie Pikachu in the forest. Because Pikachu just, like, launches up onto a tree branch and <laughs> just starts pounding the shit out of Caterpie. Yes. And we're like, oh my god, Pikachu is so aggro. Never mind Ash becoming friends with Caterpie and kind of casually catching him. Pikachu no. just goes up and Bully beats the shit, the shit out, out of him. him. <laughs> and then they catch him and Caterpie's just like, yeah, dope. I love this. This it's is great. It's quite bizarre. <laughs> And then, like, the only Pokemon Ash gets are, in the movie, are Caterpie, Charmander, and Charmander and Pikachu. Right. Like, fuck Pidgey and Pidgeotto, you know, don't get any of them. Don't no. get Squirtle, don't get Bulbasaur, none of, none of the classics. Just Charmander and Caterpie? Yeah. And the then, like, by the end boys. of the movie, he gets Charizard. Right. And it's, it's so fucking weird, because it's, like, after the montage, it starts off with, like, Ash has now beat, uh, what's her name? The Erica, grass, Erica. Right? But he's like, I just got my third gym badge and beat Erica. And it's like, what? what? What the fuck? Why? Why? What? Right. Why not have the other ones? Why skip over all that? Why skip over Lieutenant Surge and all that? If you're doing a montage anyways, like, why end there? Uh, and then it becomes all about, mine. like, Johto stuff. It's all about the, the mystic dogs, and, like, he teams up with these fucking really shitty side characters out Ooh, of nowhere. The girl is especially... The girl is really oof. awful and, and just ugly and fucking stupid. bad And he teams up with design. this fucking faggot who has Lucario, of course, because Lucario has to be in the fucking yeah, movie. Yeah, the, the, uh, the central Pokemon are Pikachu, Piplup, and Lucario? Yeah. Okay? Like, I get the idea what? of wanting to, like... To go back and tell a story earlier in the timeline to, to do with Johto because they never made like a three Mystic Dogs and Ho Oh movie, you know? Yeah. They did just an Entei movie. So it's like that is a gap that is good to explore, but like why retcon all the other elements of the show out of existence? I don't understand the purpose of that. Why get rid of Misty and Brock? Why have these new characters that have nothing to do with and are just, the like, original garbage story characters? and like. And then the whole plot is fucking retarded and about, like, Ash fulfilling his destiny of, like, fighting ho -Oh, and Ash is, like, the ultimate Pokemon trainer and all this shit. He's the rainbow and, like, hero. He gets Charmeleon and Charizard, and it's, like, the whole bond between Ash and his Charizard, you know, originally that takes, like, 150 fucking episodes before Charizard will obey him, because, like, the whole point is that, like, Ash gets Charmeleon before he's ready, and he's not ready as a trainer, so it won't take him seriously at all. And then he gets Charizard, and Charizard still fucks off, and it's, like, hilarious and great. They have all these cool bonding moments, you know, when uh, Charizard gets serious and fights Blaine and stuff. And, like, you know, all this cool shit that happens that they're just like, nope, uh, Ash and Charizard are just best friends. Fuck it. <laughs> they're, just, they're just cool bros. Yeah, but I think the real uh, selling point of this movie is uh, the antagonist rival boy. Oh God, who is for all you, uh, a total even, he's like a furry, yeah. ding dong. He's like a placeholder for, for the furry community. A Lycanroc and, and, and an yeah. Incineroar. And he wants to fuck them and it's super weird. And he definitely fucks the Lycanroc. Yeah, he kisses the Lycanroc he, like, yeah, canonically. Yeah, like in actually the movie. in the like, movie. He literally kisses Which is Lycanroc. hilarious because there's this big dramatic scene and then the Lycanroc saves this guy. And the Lycanroc is like... He's like is he holding pinned it down in his or is arms? he pitting the yeah. kid down? One of the two. And we're watching this and I'm just like, Oh yeah, he kiss! straddles the kid. And then they literally, <laughs> like, Rock gives him 
the case and I was just like, yeah! It's Furry so weird. It's so fucking weird. Also, in this movie, we learn that Incineroar apparently runs like a fucking primate. Yeah! And it's terrifying. Ah. The way Incineroar runs, he gets down on all fours, but he runs on his knuckles like a fucking like ape. Yeah. Super and it's gross. very scary. And he beats Super the shit gross. out of uh, Charmeleon. Yes, he beats the shit out he of Charmeleon. He literally beats the shit like, out of Charmeleon. It's that bizarre moment where you're like, Incineroar should not be a Pokemon because he's too anthropomorphic. And so when you like, watch him fight him a fight normal Charmeleon Pokemon... Charmeleon feels yeah. really unfair. It's very uncomfortable because and you're just like, it, oh. it just looks like a pro wrestler beating the shit out of a Pokemon. It's, it's so bizarre. <laughs> it's very funny. Especially when they make him run like a gorilla. Like, he's what the very fuck? very scary. It's the most uncomfortable Pokemon design of all time. Oh yeah, for sure. The way Incineroar runs is terrifying and will be ingrained in my memory forever. Yeah. And it's like, the whole time I'm going, like, who is this movie for? Because Furries. it's not for the longtime fans because it's omitting Brock and Misty and stuff. Like, they try to go for the nostalgic angle, but, like, they clearly fail at that by not having half the fucking cast of the show and by, like, removing all of the weight of the events that you actually remember from your childhood. Right. It's like, it's not for longtime fans. It's yeah, not for new kids, because, like, they don't give a fuck about the origin of Ash and fucking Pikachu. Like, they don't care about Suicune and Entei. Like, it's not for fucking new kids. Right. Why and then I, I realized by the end, it's just for furries. Like, it this is, is a movie for furries. for furries. It has all of, like, the DeviantArt furry Pokemon. It's like, got Lucario. It's got Incineroar. And, uh, Lycanroc. It's got Lycanroc. Like, it's got um Lux R- Luxray. It's got Luxray, yeah. The it's got all kid. of the DeviantArt favorites. The same kid who team <laughs> who teams up with a Lucario. He was raised by a Luxray. Literally and raised by a Luxray. And he walked out into the snow, and the Luxray dies, <laughs> protecting him from a snowstorm. Cuddled up against this Luxray, this Luxray fucking dies. It dies. Uh, it's literally it a movie for furries. It is the furriest movie ever. It's it's I just don't even understand how it exists. It's so, it's so furry. It's just amazing. It's a movie, f- like, that's it. That's the appeal. And I mean, Team they, Rocket they is there. They cater to their, their adult community of furries. I, yes. It's so Team bizarre. Rocket is there. But they but literally they never nothing. interact with They Ash. show up for, like, three seconds, and then something happens, and they get shot into space. And you're yeah. like, all right, why even have Team Rocket in this movie, then? They never interact with Ash through the whole movie. They never speak to him. I also don't really understand what the point of having the legendary dogs in this movie was. They didn't have anything to do to with Ho-Oh, the, really. To tell the, I mean, they do. I mean, but, like, because only Ho-Oh very them. Like, tangentially. That's, that's what they are in the games, you know? Like, yeah, but, but, yeah, like, but they don't amount to anything. Matter. Like, they don't, the in the end, that, like, like, come back and save Ash or interact with them at all. Yeah. Like, they're just kind of around. It's like, they, they fight Entei Ugh. when they very first meet up. The, the weird girl sees uh, Suicune. And then Raikou was literally just hanging out on the top of the mountain where they meet yeah. Ho-Oh. And but really, like, the only Pokemon that matters aside from Ho-Oh is, is Marsh- Marshadow. Yeah, Marshadow. It was more about Marshadow. So why did we even He was a new mean, Pokemon that has nothing to do with the Ho-Oh origin. You could have totally omitted the legendary like, dogs and it would have been fine. It was kind of just to sell Marshadow. Yeah, it really was. Which was okay. He was an okay Pokemon. It would have been better I mean, in a new story, you know? So stupid. God, it just... I hate it. I hate it so much. I hate that it exists. It's really... It's really something. Um, uh. The weird, like... The, the the rainbow feather can be tainted. Like, like Ash is out, straight up shitty to Pikachu at yes. a certain point in the movie. Because he's corrupted by Marshadow, and so he turns into a giant fucking And he's fucking just douche. like... Wow, I wish I had fine, had a different you know? starter Pokemon. But then it's resolved within, like, two minutes. Yeah. Because he just goes into, like, some fucking dream state mm-hmm. and is like, oh, I was being... Oh, but we forgot about the best part of the movie, the end! Yeah? Where Ash dies! Oh, yeah, Ash dies. Ash is literally, like, dying, <laughs> and Pikachu looks oh, at yeah. him and says... No, no, like, no, wait, you, you gotta preface. So what is happening is they're having a big <sighs> fight with Marshadow because the, the evil furry kid... Stole the feather and tried to summon ho even though he wasn't the rainbow hero. Yeah. And Marshadow's like, not on my watch, bitch! Yes. And he turns all the Pokemon on the mountain evil and they start attacking yes. like, they start uh, fucking, the because, Ash like, and, and Furry All of Boy. these super strong Pokemon have just been watching just this hanging out. battle. They and just so want they just, Ho-Oh's blessing, I guess. So fucking gay. So, so uh, <laughs> Ash and everyone's getting their fucking ass kicked by these uh, possessed Pokemon. 
And uh, it's looking like they're getting ready to, like, attack Ash and Pikachu, and, and Pikachu's gonna fucking die. And Ash is like, Pikachu, get in the fucking Pokeball so you don't fucking die. Yes. And Pikachu's like, Fuck nah, you, I'll dog. never get that Pokeball, and they, bitch. And they get attacked, and they're both, like, laying on the ground all fucked up. And Ash is like, Pikachu, why don't you just get in the fucking Pokeball? And Pikachu fucking locks eyes. And, and then in perfect English, Pikachu just goes, It's because I want to be with you! Yes. And everyone in the audience is, uh, cries uh, weeks, fountains I of guess? tears. Like, so, so weird. so emotional. So and Pikachu weird. Pikachu just spoke perfect English to Ash out of nowhere and then never speaks and English that's, again. That's part of the, the point of, like, this is just for furries. No one would want this but furries. Only no one furries. wants Pikachu to speak English and say that he's in love with Ash <laughs> in a girl's voice. Like, this is just for furries. It's super fucking uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't understand. I, what the fuck were they thinking? So, Victor, what was your reaction when uh, Pikachu told Ash that he loves him? I screamed and laughed hysterically <laughs> for Literally, minutes. Literally, he did like, scream. I screamed. My mind was so blown. I was not ready for Pikachu See. to speak and say that I he loves Ash in a girl's voice. Because <sighs> that now, now Pikachu's canonically a girl. Yes. And is in love with Ash, Correct. which is disturbing. So, I have been spoiled to the fact that Pikachu talks and tells Ash that she loves him in this movie, so uh -huh. I was ready for it. And then Ash puts his cock in Pikachu's mouth, <laughs> and that's what happens. Yes. Pikachu literally sucks Ash's cock. That's exactly what happens. And everyone's like, yes, this is what I wanted out of Pokemon my entire life. This is, this what, is what, I what I came I've been here, here for. for. I mean, the other thing that's weird about this is, like, after the movie, during the credits, they, they go through all of the, like, Pokemon characters in the other show. Like, yeah. they show you Misty and Brock and, and Dawn. And, it shows like, you all, all the, characters the characters that they removed from the story and it's for like, no reason. But they're not in this story, so why are you showing me them in the credit sequence? Mm -hmm. I don't understand what the purpose of that was. So annoying, man. Because you're acknowledging that they exist. Yeah. But not in your movie? But not in, in this movie? story, I guess. Fuck it's it. It's like, Okay. Fuck having interesting, uh, cool characters that you grew up with. Like, no. That's not the point of this. The point of this is to want to fuck Pikachu and Lucario. Like, and Incineroar. And Lycanroc. It's... Uh, they really could not have crammed any more furry bait into this movie yes. if they tried. It's really very impressive. A movie for people that want to fuck Pokemon. This is it. This is I mean, your movie. It, well, what they were missing were... Uh, it's only for the gay furries. In oh, this yeah. Movie. There's no Gardevoir. There's no, there's Gardevoir. no Lopunny. Like, yeah. none of that. They left out all of the straight furry you fucking characters. Straight they get too much representation in uh, the normal show. Yeah. Exactly. They, they only kept in the gay furry characters. Only gay furries only, please. So, like, you know, YMS would probably be about it. Yes. It's about like, wanting to fucking Cineroar. And Cineroar is uh, cool. exactly his type. Yes. So, this would be a perfect movie for him. I, I recommend everyone watch it because oh, you'll sure. be disturbed beyond belief. I mean, like, there's no way you you'll have, come out of this not, like, you will laughing least, or crying hey, or here's, something. Here's the thing. <laughs> if you watch I Choose You, you'll come away more entertained than if you watched Escape Room. Exactly. So, you win. You fucking win. It is at least thoroughly entertaining because you're gonna, you're gonna feel something at every moment. It's Whether true. it's positive or negative, you will feel something. You, you will, will not be bored. have an emotion. Emotions sure. will be had. <laughs> <laughs> it might be disgust and confusion. It might be, uh... You might want to you know, throw something. extremely amused. You might laugh. You, you might, might cry. You might scream. You might want to jack off. I can't promise you Yeah, you might happen. get really hard. You might have a huge <laughs> boner. I'm not sure. It's if you like Lycanroc, you then this is the movie for you. Yes, if Lycanroc turns you on, <laughs> if that's your fursona, then yes, you will love this movie. <laughs> I mean, it's got something for everybody. If mm -hmm. you want to laugh at the furries, this movie has something for you. If, if you are always, a furry, uh, it has something for you. If you've shipped Ash and Pikachu your entire life, here you go. This is your movie. This is it, guys. This is this is your fucking time to shine. Everybody wants to be a master. Everybody <laughs> wants to show their skill. It also doesn't help that we've been watching Johto, Pokemon Johto while we go to sleep, yeah, which is great which because is great. original Pokemon is fucking good as shit. Yeah. Very true. And I've, you know, I, I'm pretty sure I explained my, my theory on the plot of Pokemon in this show and how, like, 
the first two seasons, like, Kanto and Johto are the story of Pokemon, and then afterwards it's just nonsense. <clears throat> like, it's just bullshit after that. Yeah. Because, like, the arc of Ash the character is that he was a total fucking noob in a shithead, and he only ever got gym badges because of luck, or, like, he would always do something to earn it that wasn't winning the battle. You yeah. Know? Or he would get lucky in the battle and barely... Uh, scrape by. Yeah, edge out a fucking And he was a terrible trainer, and everyone tells him this, and everyone knows this the whole time. And then he's crushed in the Pokemon League by someone who has the same Pokemon, but it's a good trainer, you know? Yeah. He gets beat out by Richie, who is a good trainer and a good guy, and he deserved it. Because he fucking earned it. And he was he was uh, smart, and uh, he used tactics, and he was the trainer that Ash could ever be. So, like, he goes on through the Orange Islands and Johto, and, like, Ash then becomes more serious and develops his skill. Like, he's still a goof and still fuck up, but, like, he, he learns to be humble and take himself seriously and, like, actually try to be a good trainer. And that's what you miss out on this shitty movie because it just goes like, oh, Ash has always been the best. He's the chosen one, you know? Right. It's just, like, he is the best because he is the Kirito of Pokemon. Exactly. He's the fucking Kirito of Pokemon. He can't do wrong. He can't be an idiot. He can't fuck up. It's like, that's not Ash, you know? Ash is just some kid. He's some dumbass, and he's way overconfident, and he he uh, just expects to get everything out of entitlement, you know? Right, because he's a dumb kid, and he doesn't yeah. understand how the world works. <laughs> exactly. And he has more experienced people following him around who are much better trainers than he is, but they don't take themselves that seriously, you know? Yeah. Like, Misty They're and Brock don't have an agenda him. to be the, the ultimate trainer. They just want to, like enjoy their life, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they're not they're not out to prove anything because they aren't as naive mature as Ash, you know? Yeah, they're actually mature. They're just hanging out along for the ride. But they're, you know, they're strung along by someone who has a passion, like a yeah. lot of people are. This is true. They see that Ash is passionate about becoming the best trainer, and they're like, well, I'll see this to the end, you know? It's just like, yeah, I'll, I'll stick around because bit. he's a charming guy, you know? Everyone wants to like him. That's how he ends up getting so many badges, because he's a good dude at the end of the day. Mm. He's just a dumb child because he's 10 years old. Victor, I think we forgot the best part of this movie, though. What? The uh, the new voice actor for Professor Oak. Oh, fucking God. <laughs> they try to recreate the old voice actors for some reason. It's very good. And they're just fucking awful. They just sound nothing like the original guys. It's, it's awesome. Honestly. It just sounds like a weird parody of like the original Ooh. voices that you would find on YouTube. Yes. It it's sounds, literally, yeah. it's it sounds like fucking... Pokemon Abridged. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they just found a fan fiction somewhere, and that's what this movie is. Like, it's an adaptation of a weird furry fan fiction on DeviantArt. Uh, I mean... Or fanfictions.net or whatever the fuck, wherever you get fan fictions from. I know it sounds <laughs> like we're shitting on this movie, but, like... It's awful. It's really great. I mean, it, it is great. It's in the way that It's awesome. Horrible. Like, this, it's, it's incredibly a entertaining, dies but it is protecting a terrible movie. A child from a snowstorm, yes. and then the kid this, grows up to date a Lucario. Thing. It's so good! The, Lu the I love it! It's ah! the saddest shit in the world, this Luxray dying in this kid's arm. And the Luxray is just, like, so happy to have died protecting yes, this kid. This it's Luxray, literally fulfilled his in its death. This kid is literally like, my parents fucked off and left me with this Luxray, and it just raised me. And I was like, yes. what? It's so good. I love it. Uh, I, lo I absolutely love this movie. It was like a weird interpreta reinterpretation of James and his Growlithe. Right? But like, but Growlithe dies, I guess. <laughs> but Growlithe bizarre. literally dies. Fucking bizarre movie, man. It's so good. Oh, these guys are fucked. Ooh, they're spooky. Yeah, he's scary. Okay, I fucked him up. They turn into those guys. Oh. If you let them run around for too long, they'll explode uh -oh. into the, the big, muscly the big boys. I gotta say, the uh, the fire wheel was a really good design, too. I liked him a lot. Oh, yeah. They're great designs. They're just horrible to fight. Oh, yeah. No, They're I don't horrible. disagree. But, like, aesthetically... Ah! Got him. Pretty fucking dope. So, yeah. Go watch I Choose You. Yes. And be thoroughly entertained. It's, it's so good. Oh, God. I can only hope that Detective Pikachu is half as entertaining oh, as that my movie God. was. It, it will be. It'll be even more entertaining. Oh, I think I accidentally hurt one of my friend's feelings oh, today, no. by the way. Because, uh, the same one I went to go see Escape Room with. We're too good at hurting people's feelings by... I didn't mean to... Preemptively calling them idiots. But I got really excited, because, uh, I brought up Detective Pikachu, and she was <laughs> like, Oh, yeah! And I was like, it's gonna be so bad! I'm so excited! And she, like, stopped. Aww. And, like, just got real quiet, and I was like, ooh. Yep. Yeah, you probably sincerely want to see Detective Pikachu because of Ryan Reynolds. Oh, I'm sorry. You're good at doing that sometimes. 
I'm sorry. I just or get so uh, excited. You get too excited with your uh, controversial opinion and don't realize <laughs> that most people are normal and will get offended. Mm. I mean, I kind of did that with Tyler when we were uh, watching uh, 90 Day Fiance. Yeah. And uh, Hope has a friend who is uh, <laughs> celibate until marriage, basically. I love him. We went to high school together. He's, yeah. a, he's a very good boy and he's very smart. He's a very Christian boy. But he's very Christian. And, like, we tend to shit on Christians in the idea of celibacy pretty openly. <laughs> and, like, in 90 Day Fiance, we're watching this and fucking... There's these guys who are celibate. We're just, like, shitting all over them. <laughs> they're like, oh, fuck. And then I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, no. Uh, Tyler and his girlfriend are uh, are that. Whoops. Sorry. We don't actually want to offend people. No. You know, we just meme too I just, hard. I just get really excited about ah. memeing on things. Yeah. And, uh, just like, I uh, just hard. like I did with the PCP. I got too excited about memeing. Yeah. And then we it don't was have like, any well, I don't actually time. want to, like, we hurt just people's feelings. We want to meme. Yeah. And sometimes we meme too fast. It's just our takes are too hot and too <laughs> loose, you know? I guess so. Too but spicy. I definitely, uh, definitely hurt her feelings. We are bros sure. that are a little too spicy. I guess we are a little too spicy. Because some people are idiots and they want to, Sorry. they're excited about Detective Pikachu, you know? But for you know, their own reasons might like, be valid, you yeah, know? Yeah, here's Maybe the thing. Maybe they do like that aesthetic. It's like, just because I'm shitting on Detective Pikachu doesn't make yeah. your opinion not valid just because you I'm can calling. still express to me why you're excited for it i won't care yeah. it doesn't matter just because i'm calling you an idiot doesn't mean you are an idiot like it doesn't mean i think you're an idiot you know i just think you're an idiot like it doesn't mean you are one it's not that serious guys <laughs> yes just because i said you're fucking retarded you doesn't mean i think you're fucking man. retarded <laughs> And I wonder why I uh, have trouble maintaining friendships. Look, man, everybody wants to be a master. Everybody wants to show their skills. Everybody wants to get there faster, make their way to the top of the hill. It's just the way of the world. It's true. Oh, man. Hot take. Each step you climb, it's one more step up the ladder. Oh, motherfucker. Aww, How did I miss with that? It would have been way more valuable to save those for this boss, but uh -oh. whatever. Oh, is this... I think I remember you fighting this guy. Is this the lightning guy already? I've been fucking blowing through this, man. Yeah, you've been fucking tearing it up. It took me a long up, time man. to get through these levels when I was uh, a noob at this game. A fucking noob. Ooh. Ah, wow. I'm just fucking tearing fuck through up, people. Fuck up. I'm fucking them up. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is uh, the lightning boy. I think that's later in the game. This might be a different guy in a similar arena. Okay, we'll see. yeah. Maybe it's just because the arena looks familiar. We'll attempt the boss once in this episode, and then I gotta pee, so we'll stop. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Well, like, this has been a full episode, right? Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure. And we've had oh, some... In These uh, stone knights are pretty cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So you think, oh, I'm gonna go to the shrine, but then this guy wakes up, and you have to fight him. Uh oh Ooh. These guys are really tough, so you kind of just want to kill them with bombs or something. Mm. <laughs> they're not worth fighting. Ain't Because you can't stagger them because they're made of stone. Right. So it's a huge bitch. You can't really attack them from the front. Let's level up. My fucking controller keeps coming loose and disconnecting, and it's driving me insane. Yeah, that would happen uh, when I was playing Monster Hunter, and I would get frustrated. Yeah. This piece of shit controller. Pizza shit. Old fucking PS3 controllers, man. You got dang pizza More shit. More guys. Die. I don't know what a JPEG is. Eat my ass. I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. What? Is that a TikTok? It's from King of the Hill. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. Yeah, if you shoot those guys in the eye, they just die. Oh. Damn it, there's too many of these fucking dudes. <laughs> they will definitely kill me in like one hit. Uh -oh. oh, uh oh. See, done. It's like they attack really slow, but they but, just like, fucking power very through, powerful. you know? Do they Can't just really go back to where they front. started? Yeah, they go back to where they started. Oh, neat. They're kind of like little guardians. I like that about um, about that character. The enemies in this game are all perfect. You That's fight really them a good. billion times because they're perfect. It's a really good mechanism. They just created a bunch of perfect things and shoved them all in one game. I like how they stay dead. That's good. And the uh, eyeball boy is over there, too, don't they? Yeah. I my tonfas out. Tonfas. Just get my tonfas. They have a ton of health, too. Yeah. Oh, fuck. That's a bummer. Did I aggro that fucking guy? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Fucking oof. Take care of him. I don't know why uh -oh. I need to fight. I don't need to fight these guys, but it's fun. <laughs> I just like to fight everything. Victor enjoys uh, challenging himself, as always. 
See, like, I do, like, no damage to them. Mm. I think I have to hit them in, like, the glowy parts or something. That would make sense. You gotta get their knees. Their knees. Knees! 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 Yes. <laughs> oh. For us people with garbage taste who watch PewDiePie. Yep. He has the us humor of a 12-year-old. Fucking normies. PewDiePie is not quality content. <laughs> it's just uh, dumb <laughs> meme humor for children. Oh my gosh. Quentin Reviews is a superior Oh form. my fucking god, <laughs> Quentin Reviews. We already talked about that on the last session. Did we? Yeah, we did. I talked about Quentin Reviews. I did. Uh, I did, I swear. Okay, I trust you. Yeah. We talked about the, the drama, the goss. The dramu. The the dra dra drama mean. Dra drama drama mean. Drama mean? Yeah. All right, let's just go see the boss. I'm probably going to lose to him, so I'll just get this out of the way. That sounds good. I want to know if it's the electric thing. I don't think so. Did my fucking controller disconnect again? Jesus Christ. I didn't <laughs> even do anything. I Turn guess back it is. now if you want to. Yeah, oh! There he is! Fuck yeah. Look at I that. I love this guy. Look at that! He's so cool. I this boss is face. pretty fucking hard. Dead. Oh! Immediately dead. Damn. <laughs> He absolutely just yes. fucking This game has high destroyed. expectations of you. It expects you to avoid every single hit <laughs> and not get hit twice in a row. Alright, that's it for this episode. I gotta pee. Yeah, Victor goes. Uh, we're probably out of topics. Yeah. I suppose. I, I don't have anything else unless you do. Bye! Bye!